Hey guys, it's me, Sean of LoveSack, and I'm excited today to share with you one of the most treasured partnerships here at LoveSack. It's with a company that actually helps us be more designed for life, and it all starts with plastic bottles. In America, 35 billion plastic bottles are thrown out every year and can take up to a thousand years to degrade. To be a part of a solution, LoveSack has partnered with Unify, the makers of Reprieve, to repurpose wasteful plastics into awesome home decor fabric. Here's how it's done. At one of Unify's advanced production facilities here in the United States, plastic bottles are sorted, washed, and chopped into tiny flake. The clean flake is then blended, melted down, and turned into chip and loaded into huge silos. Just one of these puppies holds 27 million plastic bottles. Then the chip enters a state-of-the-art extrusion and texturing process. The resulting plastic can be transformed into fibers with performance inherent properties. And that's where LoveSack comes in. In 2020 alone, we estimate that Sactionals will remove more than 25 million plastic bottles from the waste stream by utilizing Reprieve for the internal fabric on all of your inserts. This partnership for LoveSack with Reprieve is incredibly important to support our design for life philosophy. Well, Chad, it's good to be with you. Uh, Sean from LoveSack here. Great to uh, be with you as well. On high five with Chad Bullock from Reprieve, who is their global VP of sales, brand representative. Um, excited to chat about uh, recycled fiber. Tell, tell me just a little bit more about Reprieve. So you guys got started as a manufacturer yourselves. What, what, did you, what were your earliest uh, beginnings? You know, mine, of course, was I made giant bean bags for my friends in college who loved them and we started making more and eventually evolved into the love stack people know today. Um, tell me a little bit about, about how you got started and, and kind of what led you into becoming, you know, the leading, I think, recycling brand when it comes to, you know, bottles into fiber. Absolutely. So um, Reprieve is the brand name for all of our sustainable products. Our company is Unify. And Unify started as a yarn manufacturing company in 1971. And as we evolved and as we moved into different portions of manufacturing, we realized we made a lot of waste. And as you extrude or um, melt polyester and turn it into yarn, uh, you, you produce waste at that point. So early in the 2000s, we decided instead of taking that waste and throwing it in a landfill, we could reuse that waste. And we did, we went back, we, we determined we could take that waste and we could, we could make it back into a first quality yarn. As the process evolved, as the demand for the consumers evolved, we started using exactly what you have, the water bottle. We just decided, hey, this is what we're going into. Initially, uh, we started in, in the apparel business uh, with a couple brands, mainly some outdoor brands. And that, now it's evolved into multiple brands across apparel for you home furnishings automotive industrial um you know and that's our goal we want reprieve to be what people think of when they think of recycled product yeah so for those who aren't familiar with uh this whole landscape reprieve is is not so much a brand making apparel or making you know things themselves as much as they supply the yarn for things to be woven from, sewn from, created from, and and have partnerships with companies like LoveSack. So if you look carefully on LoveSack's packaging, in fact, each one of our sectionals pieces has a little label on it with a little reprieve symbol that signifies how many water bottles are estimated to have gone into the manufacturing of that product. What makes your vision at Reprieve unique, and what do you hope that the consumer uh, gains from having a brand like yours focused on on doing it how you're doing it sure and and what we feel makes reprieve different from the other recycled polyesters out there um is is really uh the quality that you get the fact that we are third party certified uh it's not just it's not just reprieve saying it's recycled we actually have third party certifications we also have a tracer uh, it's a built-in tracer into every pound of reprieve that we make. So we can take the fabric, we could actually take one of your sectionals and determine, hey, is it, does it contain reprieve? And if it does, at what 
at what percentage is the is uh is reprieve in there uh that ability to say yes this is recycled but it also gives the consumer a uh just a sense of hey this is what it's that what it says it is this is not greenwashing this is not someone saying it's recycled and it's not yeah so let's dig in on that greenwashing is so prevalent it's when companies you know claim to be this claim to be that claim to be environmentally friendly and the truth is all they did was stamp something that says you know recycle your cardboard on their cardboard boxes or something but they they hype themselves they overhype themselves to be green and uh, just to pander to consumers now i think what you said is important because another interesting thing is even if a company like let's say lovesack represents itself as using recycled uh, fabric recycled plastic water bottles into fabric um it is not uncommon at all for suppliers trying to save a buck here and there to switch manufacturers on you overseas to pick a cheaper yarn unbeknownst even to the brand and so i think the ability to trace that and have confidence that you know if you see the reprieve symbol on it it, it can be tested it has been tested to prove that the quality of the yarn going in the quality of the recycled pellet uh, you know that produces that yarn is of a certain standard and not just um somewhere along the supply chain substituted out yeah and you're exactly right and it, it gives um you the confidence that what you're getting and what your consumer is getting is recycled right on and that's why we love our partnership with reprieve so let's talk for a second about how this is done now how do you take a plastic water bottle like the one i'm drinking from at this moment and convert it into sectionals yeah um it, it's a pretty it's a pretty neat process uh and it, it actually starts with with yourself or with your consumer they take the bottle you know just like you have that i have here you're going to toss this in the recycle bin people are skeptical about recycling do the bottles that they throw into the recycle bin actually make it to you absolutely um we probably get in the neighborhood in our facility in north carolina around 10 containers per day that's going to be around 30 to 40 thousand pounds per container that we're pulling in a week you're talking about essentially a 40-foot semi truck full of plastic water bottles roll into your place that is correct and we are global so that is uh that's just a facility in north carolina um when we when we take those bottles um obviously when you put the bottle in your recycle bin that bottle is then sent to the material reclamation facility. You know, when you put your stuff in your recycle bin, it's going to be bottles, it's going to be cans, it's going to be cardboard. Well, they're going to take it and they're going to separate all that out. Now, the bottle itself, they can be different colors. They can be clear, they can be green, they can be uh, amber or, or brown. We take those bottles and they go through a sortation process. Some of this is human, where people are actually physically looking at, at if it's a bottle or is it, what is it? They're picking out what is not usable. The colors are then sorted by an optical eye. This is done very quickly in milliseconds. Those, the colors are being sorted. We use primarily the clear and the blue bottles that we're using into, uh, into Reprieve. Those bottles are then the labels the caps are separated out the label and cap is a different fiber we actually uh, use just the pet the bottle itself once it goes from a bottle it's ground up into what we call flake i have some of this in my hand here it's kind of hard to see but it's just ground up bottles that flake is then washed it goes through a scouring process again what you're trying to do is remove any types of the sugars or anything the waste you can imagine what you find in bottles once that's washed it is then transported to our other facility in north carolina in yadkinville we take that flake and we melt it down we put it through a big melting process in that process you're actually filtering what are we filtering for we're filtering for any impurities purities could be anything that are not polyester we're filtering down to about 20 microns now 20 microns to give you an idea is the size of human hair that's how fine we're actually filtering this down to get the impurities out we then produce what is called a chip or a resin um again i have some of that in my hand i'm kind of as you can see here i'm just kind of dropping it but uh that becomes uh the the base for our uh our yarn so then we take that resin we melt that down again and we produce uh a, a kind of a mid product called a partially oriented yarn and then we end up with exactly what i have here a package of yarn um so 
that this is what goes right into your process of the sectional or the love side. We're taking basically what people consider trash and turning it into a usable process. That's amazing. So you chop it up, melt it down, get it back to these pellets, and then right. extrude it into these long. And so each one of those little uh, cones of, you know, spools of thread that you just showed right. has miles of polyester uh, yarn on, on it. Correct. Literally yeah, miles. Yeah. And, I've seen the, and we'll show some of these machines where, you know, it's really cool. Like you can imagine um, many dozens of those spools of thread then being strung out and then with other spools of the same thread woven across it. So what is just individual strands of yarn is woven crossways into whole sheets of fabric at any weight. In our case, pretty heavyweight upholstery, which is then uh, stapled onto sectionals frames and and becomes the gray sectionals that people are familiar with. And we and we have the branding on the box to prove that it's reprieve uh, fiber and how many bottles are estimated to have gone. And by the way, we've chosen a very conservative estimate. We actually probably recycle many many more bottles than we claim, but we've chosen to be very conservative in the way that we label each piece. What is the, your ultimate vision? We've been working for three years and, and you guys have continued to just blow up as a brand and, and really get your name out there. But what is your vision, your hope for the future as it pertains to what you're doing? You know, our vision and our hope for the future, it, we have a, a couple. Number one is just to continue to grow and really get the uh, recycle rates of the U.S. up. Um, have people look at recycling and have that confidence that when you put that bottle in a recycle bin, it, it is recycled and it can go into things that you wear, that you sit on, uh, that you sleep on. For our side, what we would love to see is, you know, really get that recycle rate in the U.S. Right now, the recycle rate in the U.S. is it's embarrassing. It's, it's less than 30 percent. And I would love to get that up to if you look at someone like, you know, wow. China has a has a recycle rate of 80 plus percent. Japan is over 80 percent. All the other countries in the world are much higher than we are. Wow. So we need incredible. to really work together and get that up. Yeah. So if nothing else, you know, uh, recycle, if you don't uh, go out of your way to to separate your plastics, go out of your way to separate your materials, um, believe in the system. It does work. And, you know, believe in companies like ours that uh, are really then utilizing the system to put it to work. Because, by the way, for Love Sack to have chosen to uh, convert all of our upholstery fabric, which, by the way, is millions of yards per year going into these sectionals that we're selling. And that's just at the size we are right now, which, by the way, is less than 1% of the calc market. Imagine that. Our vision, I mean, imagine how cool it would be to someday say, hey, that Pacific plastic waste dump that's floating out there the size of texas bigger than the size of texas i think now you know in the ocean send it to us because together with reprieve love sack and reprieve will recycle a big chunk of that into permanent furniture that can be with you the rest of your life your passion right there is exactly why we love the partnership we have because you're everything you just mentioned there pushes us to be better pushes you to be better makes the consumer just think hey there is a better way Listen, here's the crazy part, right? All we're asking consumers to do is make two good decisions. Number one, recycle, like separate your stuff, recycle it. Number two, buy less stuff, but buy better stuff. Like be conscious of the stuff you buy. Look for that reprieve label, whether it be clothing, whether it be uh, sectionals, uh, love sack products, other companies like it. We'll do the work in the middle. Like you and I, reprieve yeah. and love sack, we'll do all the crazy stuff, all the chemistry, all the melting down, converting stuff into furniture, designing furniture that could last the rest of your lifetime, designing a whole furniture platform. We'll do all of that. We'll make it great for your life, but you have to make the choice as a consumer to buy better. And if you can just do those two things, recycle your stuff and buy better, we'll do all the heavy lifting in the middle. And, and that's what I believe the future of commerce should be. Like, why should anybody buy crap that doesn't live up to those standards in the future? I, I agree 100%. Look, that's the vision. Uh, it's an important partnership to us. We appreciate your commitment to it. We appreciate your excellence. You know, lastly, I would just like to say everyone at Reprieve, uh, it's a belated happy birthday to Lucky from yesterday, uh, but we all say happy birthday. 
That's sweet. Thank you. Well, we follow you too. We're proud of our partnership. Hey, thank you very much and uh, keep recycling.